Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com, May 27th, 2011. We're looking at a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief convertible. Car set up in uh, um, original paint schemes. Turquoise blue poly was the color in 1955 with ivory mist or white mist on top. The reflective quality is really nice in the paint. You can kind of see the reflections of the objects behind me back there. Don't know what the age of the uh, repaint is, but the paint still looks pretty good. Actually, it looks really nice. Uh, there's only a couple spots where there's a few chips down along the uh, where the deck lid's making contact with the rear filler panel. A lot of the chrome and trim was pulled off the car and replated. These tail light bezels and these upper quarter panel moldings were replated. The bumpers were all done. The reverse light covers were done. Look at those big fat chrome fender skirts. Those things are awesome. Chrome is excellent down low on the vehicle. Door handles were done. All the stainless and trim was polished on the vehicle. The only plating that wasn't done on the vehicle was the uh, vent windows, the frame edges of the roll-up windows, and then the uh, quarter windows have some stage one pitting and patina there. rest of the trim is really, really nice. Got uh, period style steel wheels with the correct Pontiac silkscreen logos on the hubcaps. Very nice clean body. Door jams are in really good shape. Door corners are really nice. You can see where the skin wraps the shell really clean, visibly clean. Interior's done in a correct black and white. This is correct for 1955. Dash is done in high gloss black. All the chrome on the dash is still really nice. All the trim was apparently taken apart, pulled and polished. All the lenses are super clean and the gauge faces are nice and clear. Steering wheel was likely restored. That chrome uh, steering center was uh, redone. It's in really nice shape. Car sporting 59,000 original miles and based on the wear and the door pins, the doors close really nicely. There's really no sag in these doors. I'm lifting up on them. They close great. The trunk looks just like the rest of the car. This time I've got the key in place. Was uh, nicely done. The carpet I lifted up and it's all, uh, the floor's in really super nice shape. Jack and spare are there. Backside of the deck lid's in really good shape. Original jacking instructions. Convertible tops are really nice on the outside. The canvas is in great shape. Inside the bows, I don't know if you'll see them or not, but they're all taken apart and repainted. They're in really nice shape. The pads have all been replaced. The underbody of the vehicle has survived very well. You'll see the uh, original gussets off the frame. Bushings are in very nice shape. Uh, the floor pan supports are all very nice. These are all undercoated, but you'll notice that they're all very similar in shape and size. No real dysfunction seen with regards to having them patched or decay visible. The inner rocker panel structure here is all very good. All the weep holes are open down the rockers, all present. The frame has the correct reinforcement plate welded to the bottom of it. Stops right there. That's common. It's also common on the Chevys. They added that reinforcement to uh, keep the car from flexing. The floor pans, as you can see, are really solid. Uh, it's got a stock rear end in it. A little bit of a drip, a little bit of a seep there, but nothing too major. It's got a single luminized exhaust running down the other side. Probably difficult for you to see in this video, but it's in good shape. Looks like it's been recently changed. Chrome was all done up here, the bezels. Let's see if I'm smart enough to get this hood open. I am. And there we have a Pontiac little V8 two barrel Strato streak. I believe the Star Chief came with a uh, 
incredibly high power 190 horse motor in 1955. I think there was actually a version of this two barrel motor that was 180 horse as well. The oil is nice and clean, antifreeze is clean, no issues. Belly side of the hood's in good condition. It's got the uh, H, -co H code in the VIN for the hydromatic transmission, but it's a really good looking car. There's a lot of unique pieces of trim on this vehicle uh, that are really unique to the 55 and give it a very pleasant, desirable look. There weren't a ton of these cars made and there's probably a whole bunch less left on the road. A nice, rare, desirable, great color combination, 55 Pontiac Star Chief Convertible. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, autoappraise.com. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime.